I try adding banana to the pancake to see my kids reaction if they're going to like it or no watch until the end my name is Therese and for this recipe for the pancake I'm going to start with the banana ripe banana mush it down with a fork and I do this before putting any other ingredient then I add an egg just one egg for this recipe and then I mix it together and I usually add some salt to my pancake and I just until it's all mixed I'll add in some salt I'm making some delicious Right. so it's a banana so make sure it's really done you can do this in a blender but i just did this by hand there's the salt just a little pinch african pinch i usually say that because my daughter told me that my pinch is like a lot of salt so and then i add sugar and i'm doing like uh, four approximately four um scoops or four tablespoons you can do more if you like but usually i do this and then i'll taste it later on to see if it's good for me to add more but i mix it together and i went on and put butter with the butter you can warm it up a little bit in microwave a couple seconds but i just went on and do this because i'll mix it together but i'm going to put this pancake in the pan on the pan anyway so it's gonna melt so i would recommend um, putting it in a microwave for just a couple seconds and then I'll go ahead and add the flour at this time but before that I need to add some uh, baking powder and usually for this one it's gonna be like a half a um, teaspoon half a teaspoon so not too much and then I go ahead add the flour for this, I it was two um, two cups for this for this recipe. You can do more if you want to, depending on how many how many pancake you want. This one is for five people, and I had to change to a whisk because this the fork wasn't doing it. And then go ahead and add some milk of choice. This is for just regular milk. And uh, those are the ingredients. Just mix them together well. And then while I'm doing this, I had to pause and put my pan. I use a pan. I have a um, pancake maker, but I usually just don't use it. I use it, my pans. They do well. So um, I'll put that on warm. I warm it up a little bit. And I add some more milk because it was really thick. Oh, I didn't want it to be that thick. And this is how it's coming out. You can see, you can see, see a little bit of chunk of the of the bananas, which is good. It's sweet, but I had to taste the dough to make sure that's sweet. And you can still see the the chunk of um, um, butter. Like I said, it's gonna melt. So I had to add in some more sugar because I know my family they like sweet, sweet. Even though the banana was sweet, they want sweet. So there's the pan and then just go ahead and put it and usually for it to be ready you can see when you see it starts seeing little bubbles on a pancake then it's ready for you to go turn over um, for the pancake and most of the time I use this pan for my pancake and then you can go ahead and turn it over yeah some people like it uh, like my daughter really don't like it to be well, well, well done. I feel like I want it to cook through. So um, I usually put the spatula like that to make sure like it's well done. If I see like some dough coming out, that means it's not done. So I'll continue uh, cooking it. So this brought like I think 12 pancakes. And uh, yeah, just depending on how big you want a little pancake. You can add more of those ingredients if you want to. This was just a really quick, really easy recipe to do on a Saturday or a Sunday. Or even any day, kind of the day if you want to eat this, not as breakfast, but as, um, as um, dinner. Breakfast for dinner, American style. 
cat those are the pancakes so watch and see my daughter reaction after i did this i added trying to make something different you know as an african i i try to make stuff for my kids so they can enjoy It's yummy already. Yeah. How are you doing? It's yummy already. Something different. What do you What do you taste? Nothing different. Are you sure? Yes. Guess what I put in it? Chocolate. No. Banana. Mm -hmm. 